probably one of my favorite things like growing up in the Bay Area and living there is just like the amount of diversity. There's playgrounds for kids, there's like little paddle boats and you can kayak and all that kind of stuff but then like 30 minutes going the other direction like you're in the mountains and you can drive up like the foothills. You can look over the whole Bay Area like just being up in the mountains and if you keep going over those mountains then there's the ocean and so you really get like a sense of everything. This August, citizens of California's Bay Area faced deadly new wildfires. There were three fire clusters, the LNU, SCU, and CZU. Firefighters worked as hard as they could to contain the deadly fires. The first fires were the beginning of August. My friends and I kind of saw like this big cloud of smoke and to us we were like, that's so weird. Why would it be there? And then the next couple days, like we heard like, oh, like there's really big fires breaking out. It wasn't only in Santa Cruz where we were seeing it from. It was also in like three or four other areas around us. So where I live, it was just kind of caught in the middle of it all. So we got smoke from all different directions. My little sister has like breathing problems and stuff. So for her, it was like we had to keep her inside. It was pitch black at 10 in the morning. And it was like red and it was just red and like gloomy at the same time. It was raining ashes. Like you would have thought that it was snowing, but it was just like ash. I definitely think that the current administration, just in general, climate change wise, has not done everything that they can be doing, um, which is extremely unfortunate because it's like, I see my home and I see everywhere around me and the places that I go on the daily to go outside, like I see them burning up in flames and it's like terrifying. Our climate is changing. If anything, these fires should have been like a wake up call. During the terrible fires, President Trump went down to California to assess the situation himself. However, all he really had to say was that these fires were a result of poor forest management. California Governor Gavin Newsom and other California officials begged the president to see the science behind climate change and what it is doing to the fires. I see, feel very strongly that the hots are getting hotter, the dries are getting drier. Something's happened to the plumbing of the world. And we come from a perspective, humbly, uh, where we submit uh, the science is, uh, in and observed evidence is self-evident uh, that climate change is real. Trump agreed to give aid to support better forest management, but continued to deny the science behind climate change, stating it will start getting cooler. You just watch. We're not going to succeed together protecting California. <laughs> hey, well, I don't think science knows, actually. It's honestly devastating knowing that, like, my sisters and even my kids aren't going to be able to go back there and, like, see kind of, like, life through how I saw it at that age.